Hey everyone, my name is Spencer Belinsky, and I've been asked to share a little bit about my experience with the Tabernacle. Um, I did a similar camp quite a few years ago before my mission, where we hiked to the top of a mountain, and then learned a little bit about Moses and the people of Israel, and how they, they built this Tabernacle and carried it around with them for 40 years in the wilderness. Um, and one thing that I remember specifically from, from that experience was the first night when we got to see the tabernacle all set up and lit up. Um, that was pretty powerful. It reminded me um, of the, the saying in the scriptures where it says, a city, a city on a hill cannot be hid um, to let our light so shine. And that, that, that reminded me that I need to let my light shine. I learned a lot about the covenants that we make in the temple. I learned a lot about the symbolism behind them, why they're important for us. And then I went on my mission. I went to Anaheim, California and Uruguay, Montevideo. And in California, I had the opportunity to serve in the building that got torn down recently to become the Yorba Linda, California temple. Um, a focus of my mission was temples and why they're important. One specific experience I had was a family um, named the Lopez's. And they, they had recently been sealed as, as a husband and wife in the temple, but their children were not baptized. And towards the end of my mission, they accepted the invitation to be baptized into the church. And then recently I found out they were sealed as a family for time and all eternity in the temple. And then I returned home for my mission and temples have been the biggest part of my life. I've had a lot of decisions I've had to make recently that are kind of big life decisions. Where I want to go, what do I, what do I want to do for a career? And the temple has been my source of peace and of joy and comfort. And so I, I leave you with my testimony that this tabernacle that you guys are about to witness has been one of the most powerful things to, to shape me and help me realize the Savior and the power of his atonement. Um, I have a testimony of the Savior. He is, he is the Christ. He is risen and his atonement holds so much power, not only to forgive you of your sins, but to bring you comfort and strength that you didn't know you, you could have. And all he asks is that, is that we seek him through, through the scriptures and through, and through temples. And this, this camp is one way that you can seek the Savior. I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.